Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 37 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com I am convinced that I uh, hate Night Shroud so much. <laughs> In fact, I tweeted about it an awful bit. And by awful bit, I mean once. But I made a big tweet about it. So more than made up for it, for sure. Because this guy's been kicking my ass so long. And all he has to do is just have, like, one monster on the field, one in his hand that's of the same type. And he happens to get the monster he needs every time. Target one phase out monster you control. Said one elemental hero from the deck to the graveyard. And if you do, that target's name becomes the same. Oh! Hang on. Target one face out monster you control. Send one elemental of hero from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, that means I can go do this. I'm gonna play Hero Mask. Take this monster. It becomes Elemental Hero Neos. And then I can play Wrath of Neos. Fiendish Chain! Sinister Yorishiro! Luckily, those effects still applied. Wait, if I got Elemental Hero Spark Man, I should probably take Necro Shade with me. Because then I can play Polymerization. Should I pick you? Not 2000. Ah. Uh, this card is destroyed. Target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Maybe Dark Bright would be better in this situation? Because it does do piercing damage. You know what? Let's go with Dark Bright. What else can go wrong, really, other than everything? It's just I gave his skirt down many chances. Now it's time to change that. Too bad his defense is not good. What are the odds he has a powerful monster that he can just summon right away? Oh, that, that's pretty fast. But he didn't attack. I guess he knew he'd be destroyed, though. Even though I could just, like, force a destruction, wouldn't do me any good. Could try to negate the effect with another fiendish chain. That's probably the one thing I'm worried about. Let's buy ourselves some time while we're at it. Oh, that's right, you can do piercing damage too. wait until I know I can get a good monster out, too. Oh boy, Chaos Hunter! I should have, like, negated that attack. I'm just gonna get rid of you, so that you can't attack me twice. <laughs> All right, emergency call it is. I'll use Necro Shade's effects that I don't have to tribute. He 
You know what? I'm just gonna force destruction. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. At least he can't just bring in powerful monsters now, otherwise he'd lose. Oh, here we go. Miracle Fusion, baby. Now I can just bring all these out. If this works, and I win, oh man, happy days are here again. But I have to count on one of these cards not being a mirror force. And that's what scares me. Once per turn, you can banish one Neos from your graveyard. I'm not worried about gaining attack power. I only need one shot. Wait, it, it negates the attack too? Oh, it does. Shit. Oh my god, really? What is the point of that? Other than it just to make your deck smaller. Now in hindsight, now it makes sense. Alright, win Karibo. You just need to hit this guy seven times, and you can win it for me. Oh, this is so stupid. If I win with a winged Karibo. Of course, he couldn't just allow that. Um, Neospatian Air Hummingbird, perhaps? <laughs> it's slightly less attacks, so that's a good thing. This deck is literally running on fumes, and that scares me. I, I know what that is, so what's the point of hiding it? Sure, I'll activate its effect again. Alright. I have 8,000 life points now. He has 100. This can't go wrong. It possibly can't. Oh my god. We're finally gonna win this. What the hell is this? Oh, super polymerization. I could not care less to use it now. Oh my god, that took way too long. Life's never easy, and it never gets easier. But that's what makes life awesome. How can you enjoy the tough times if you aren't living? As long as we have our cards, we don't have to face the future alone. Because the cards remind us of everyone we dueled, and every duelist is a friend. Hey guys, can you hear me? You have to believe in your cards. Believing in your cards means you're believing in your friends. And I believe you're all gonna come back to me. Jaden! I hear Jaden's voice! Is that you, Jay? Jaden! As long as we have our cards... We know... That we are never alone! What's this? It looks like they want to hang out with me instead of chilling in your depressing dimension. Jaden Yuki, one day, I will return. I don't think so. As long as we believe in our friends, that one day will be no day. Yeah, you get him, Jade. <laughs> Alright, so I think it's time to move on to the next duel. The Legendary Duelist. Hang on, I gotta check something real quick. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Never mind. For some reason, I thought that my uh, audio or commentary was not being recorded. But it was, so false alarm. Anyway, let's move on to the Legendary Duelist. I wonder who we are facing. With Night Shroud Gown and the Darkness Dissipated, Duel Academy can now hold this year's graduation. I will now announce the top duelists from the graduating class. But, I don't wanna. Because if I do, 
You'll all graduate and leave me. Dr. Crowler, show some decorum. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I will make the announcement instead. Our top duelist is... Oh, there seems to be three students. Alexis Rhodes, Chaz Princeton, and Cyrus Truesdale. Now, before Dr. Crowler drowns us with his tears, let's begin the graduation ceremony. Jade and Yuki, congratulations on graduating. With graduation complete, Jaden prepares prepared for his next adventure. Kiri Kiri! You trying to tell me something, Wing Karibo? Come with you? Where? I've been waiting for you, Jaden Yuki. No way! You're Let's begin your graduation duel. My graduation duel? But I already graduated. Your real graduation duel. I've kept my eye on you these past three years. I want to see whether you have become a duelist worthy of the card I gave you the day you entered Duel Academy. You will face the Chosen One. What? Where am I? You're... Yugimoto! You know who I am? The Chosen One. This may be a weird question, but are you here to duel? Because yesterday, I had a dream where Karibo told me I'll duel someone special. Well, Karibo is never wrong. Let's duel. All right, let's dance. The final duel of the GX campaign. And then we can move on to 5Ds. Oh, even though I was talking to Yugi Moto last, it's Yami Yugi that I'm actually dueling. Funny how they made that work out. Ooh, what are you again? Lady Heat. All right, during each of your end phases, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each face-up elemental hero monster you control. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, but it doesn't have a lot of, you know, defense, attack power. So maybe I should do this instead. Seems like I have a lot of fusion cards, too. Advanced Ritual Art? Oh wow, he got a Black Luster Soldier out immediately. And a Manju of the 10,000 hands. So he can get another Black Luster Soldier to his hand. Oh boy, this is not going to be fun. That I got to deal with this. Alright, Call the Haunted. Let's see. Fusion summon one element of your monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion material monsters listed on it. Um, do I have such a thing that can work here? Vision Hero Trinity. Okay, let's see. During the turn, this card was fusion summoned. Its attack is double its original attack. This fusion summon card can attack three times during each battle phase. Card cannot attack directly. If I have two arrow monsters, I can get Adoration. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and one face-up hero monster you control. Accept this card. The opponent's targeted monster loses attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of your targeted monster until the end phase. I have Masked Hero Vapor. Must be special summon with mass change. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. I have Masked Hero Goka. Card gains 100 attack for each hero monster in your graveyard. Oh my god. I have so many different cards. Mass Hero DN. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by balance into the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 or lower hero monster from your deck. That could be helpful. Dark Law. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. Once per turn, if your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, except during the draw phase or the damage step, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Oh my god, do I have like... I don't have any copies of any of them, I guess. Mass Hero Acid. When this card is special summoned, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls, and if you do, all monsters they control lose 300 attack. Elemental Hero The Shining. So I need one Elemental Hero and one Light Monster. This card gains 300 attack for each of your banished Elemental Hero monsters. 
When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target up to two of your banished elements again. Magma Neos. I also have Inferno. So I need Heat and Lady Heat. This card battles a water monster. Well, that doesn't help me here. Skirt out, Divine Neos, Dark Bright. Okay. So I'm thinking Vision Hero Trinity would actually be really good. I need three hero monsters, though. And as it stands, I well, just have the one. Should I use Elements of Hero Prisma's effect right now? Might not hurt to do so. It only takes, like, the effect of one of them. Do I have Elemental Hero Heat in my deck? Oh, wait a minute. If I make it cop- Can I make it copy, uh... Neospacian Grand Mole? I can! So I can just copy the effect. So if I do that... Oh, it just chunk comes the name. Well, this effect does not really help me then, in that sense. I could use Miracle Fusion right now. I don't want to just yet. Once again, I have misread what a card does. <laughs> I thought I would just copy the ability too, but it doesn't. Alright, if I can get he three heroes in the graveyard, we'll be good to go. Oh, wow. A Dark Magician as well. But, on the plus side, I still have a turn. Neos Force. Equip only to, only to Elemental Hero Neos, gains 800 attack. When it destroys the monster by battle, sends to the graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent, equal to the original attack. During the end phase, shuffle this card into the deck. Alright, I'm going to summon Elemental Hero Lady Heat now. Then I'll activate Miracle Fusion. Oh, I can only bring in the Shining. This card gains range attack for each of your banished Elemental Heroes. Well, they're mostly going to be banished anyway. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target up to three of your banished Elemental Heroes, and I can add them back to my hand. So I'll go with Prisma. Oh, I can only select Prisma here. And Lady Heat. Hopefully I'm doing things right. If it does power up, I can take out Black Luster Soldier. And I'm going to do that right now. There. That takes care of that problem. Ooh, I could probably use Call of the Haunted to bring in Neo Spacing Grand Mole. Then I can get that Dark Magician out of the way, too. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Problem solved for now. Swords are feeling light. Oh my god. And Obnoxious Celtic Guard. 
mass change. Target one mo hero monster you control, sent to the graveyard. Also after that, if it left the field by this effect, special summon one mass hero monster from your extra deck with the same attribute that the sent card had when it was on the field. Its original attribute if face down. Okay. Well, I can't attack for three turns, so... Oh man, throwbacks to the first campaign when I constantly had to deal with Swords of Revealing Light. Let's play Emergency Call right now. Ooh, what's this? Elemental Hero Woodsman. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you can add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. There's also Shadow Mist. This card is special summoned. You can add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand. Except Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. You can only use one Elemental Hero Shadow Mist effect per turn and only once that turn. Elemental Hero Ocean? Uh, okay, once per turn during the standby phase, target one Elemental Hero monster controller in your graveyard. Turn that target to the hand. That could be helpful. You want to hear a heat might also be good. Alright, so let's not you put in too much power. Even though I would like to bring in Blade Edge if I could. Hmm. What would be a good option here? I think Sparkman might actually be good. Only because I don't want to bring in a monster with 1900 or more attack. Because this cannot be destroyed that way. Even though I could use Neo Spacey and Grand Mole to just get rid of it. I have the option for mask change if I want to. But it seems he can't do much either. Necro Gardena. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Negate the next attack this turn from a monster your opponent controls. So its effect is much better when it's in the graveyard. Gotcha. Magician of... What? Magical Dimension. Oh, I see why you did that. And you just destroyed my monster instantly? That must have been its effect, huh? I gotta look at that when I get the chance. Man, that sucks. Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna play Call of the Haunted now. Even though that's only all it's gonna give me. I, I guess I'll be Burstinatrix now. Also, activate this effect. That'll negate your attack. Polymerization. So I can fuse right now. That may not be a bad idea, actually. I can also use mass change. Alright, Goka is the one I'm looking for. This card gains 100 attack for each hero come monster in your graveyard. How many do I have? Well, that's one. And then it'll probably be three. It's not enough. If I did use mass change.
There's some tough moves I have. Grand Mole might still be the top choice. Then I'm thinking... Then I'll play Mass Change. There, I can bring in Goka to attack that obnoxious Celtic Guard. Gets up to 2400, which is not bad. I can still fuse! Which is cool. Let me remove Dark Magician from the field for now. Oh, Mirror Force. Shit. I mean, I can still fuse right now to keep my field safe. Ooh, I can get this out. <sighs> Trinity, should I use this? Attack three times during each battle phase. That might actually be very good. So let's do that. And I still have Grand Mole to clear out some of the field. As much as I would like to say, I kind of wish I brought this out before the battle phase, then I remember there was a mirror force. So let's see what you got now, Yugi. Oh, I see what you're going to do. You're going to summon, aren't you? And you can do that. Ah, god damn. And my attack is back to 2,500. Oh, he had enough! Oh, that was the plan, Tip. That was the plan. Oh my god, he just got the heart of the cards working for him. <sighs> I hate when it's a long duel and then you lose like that. He has way too many ways to get that friggin' Black Luster Soldier out, but I hope he does this turn. Because I can stick this out. Okay, he's not gonna do that. Okay. Don't send that back to the hand. Because he'll just keep using that effect over and over. Okay, Card Trooper. Once per turn, you can choose a number from 1 to 3 and send that many cards on the top of your deck to the graveyard. This card gains 500 attack for each card sent to the graveyard this way until the end of this turn. If this card you control is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, draw one card. I mean, that's good enough for just, like... Uh, it's good enough for just being able to get a card out. I'm not going to stand up to Manju, unfortunately. Though it could be attacked. That's not going to help me either. Because I'm not currently using its effect. I guess heat it is. And if he's got a mirror force, we can burn it right now. Immediate Mirror Force. Oh well. I'll just have to tank it as much as I can. Dark Magic Curtain? I already? That was a special summon. Oh. I thought I was just gonna eat three monsters. That would have been nasty. Still use Grand Mole to 
get rid of the Dark Magician. It doesn't really protect me from more attacks. Oh no, I lose anyway. <laughs> Look at that. He managed to get that card after all. Yeah, he burned his Dark Magician to do that. Yeah, I just realized. <laughs> I gave him enough stars. Alright, we're gonna keep this going until I win. Okay, just give me no monsters at all. Look at that! He got his freaking... Oh, Dark Magician Girls in the graveyard, as is Manju. Miracle Contact. Shuffle into the deck from your hand, field, or graveyard. The fusion material monsters are listed on an Elemental Hero fusion monster that lists Elemental Hero Neos as a fusion material. And special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. I, I, I mean, I can just do nothing instead. Would that be okay? So it looks like that's all I'm gonna do. A whole pile of nothing. Whole pile of nothing. <laughs> Come on, what else do you got? You might as well ruin my day. I might as well cancel your attack. <laughs> really? Am I just getting weak monsters or practically no monsters at all? Because that appears to be what's happening here. And I don't like that. I'm, I'm doing a terrible job of, like, shuffling my deck to get just this. Flare Scarab. That's not enough, either. All I'm getting is, like, weak cards. If he can only attack one at a time, then I'm okay. Alright, Elemental Hero Neos. Can't bring that out, unfortunately. Might as well just eat a direct attack so I can keep a monster in play for Call of the Haunted. Elemental Hero Woodsman and your Earth. I can still fuse, apparently. I don't have three hero monsters. I only have two. So I'll probably just get Adoration. Dian is Earth, I believe. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends to the graveyard, you can special summon. Well, I can't do that. But at least his defense is even. That's all I got going for it. Yeah, we got a problem. <laughs> that goes without saying. Do I have, like, a Neos, Neospace, Neospacian, or Hero Monsters? Well, I got two Neospacians in the graveyard. And Neos and Element the Heroes. That's only four. So that's not enough. 
Like, seriously, I can bring in Dian for defense. But that's all I can do. So I might have to do that. There. Put it in defense right now. I can still fuse, but I don't think I want to do that right now. Alright, let's just hope for the best. Good, he doesn't have a way to destroy that instantly. Hold on, what do I got here? I have two Neospacians, an element of hero, so that's three. Another element of hero, that's four. And Neos, so that's five. I can pretty much get, like, Divine Neos out right now. Or Trinity. You know what? Trinity might actually be better. Oh, I can't get Divine Neos. Trinity it is. Now, please, for the love of God, don't have one of those face-down cards be Mirror Force. Let me have my moment where I can nuke your Black Luster Soldier to Oblivion. Just let me have this moment, please. Magic Cylinder?! Someone paid money for this. <laughs> And it wasn't me! <laughs> so they actually crowdfunded, or this lady, crowdfunded my suffering. <laughs> Granted, it was by herself, but still, you know. It's still not fun. It's hurting me badly. Here, you know what? I'm petty enough to do 200 damage to you. Let's see how it's going to be. Each time this card battles, inflicts battle damage to your opponent, gains 100 attack, and loses 100 defense. While you control another phase of element of hero monster, your opponent cannot target this card from attack, and this card can attack your opponent directly. Well, I don't have another element of hero, so that doesn't do me much favors. This card battles an opponent's monster. So, let's think about this. Could it attacks Grand Mole and I can still apply its effect? Or is it only during my battle phase when I'm the attacker? Okay, it's only when I'm the attacker. Good to know. This is embarrassing, guys. I literally don't have a move. Not one move. To deal with that obnoxious Celtic guard. <laughs> I have nothing. This is awful. This is just setting him up for so. Oh, yeah, Dark Magician. Here it comes. Feel the thunder, guys. This is where it all goes to hell. <laughs> I don't even have polymerization either. Uh, 
one mass hero from your extra deck with the same attribute. Hang on. This card's name. So I guess it only becomes the name and not necessarily the attribute. Well, there you go. That looks like it's... Is that Earth? I think that's Earth. No, that's Light. So what mass hero do I have for Light? Oh no, I just have the Shining. There's really like no... Mass hero? Huh. I'm gonna go do this anyway. Still play Miracle Fusion at least. Get the Shining out. Alright, this can withstand a Dark Magician at least. Like, I can beat it in offensive power. I hate you. <laughs> like, seriously, I do. He always has an answer! Like, granted, he has few traps, but the traps he has are just... Nuclear. Nuclear, I mean. Now I got two Dark Magicians at once to fight. This is a tall order. And I'm down to my last... 400. I mean, mass change is good. It only gains 100 attack for each hero in the graveyard. And I have two, exactly. So that can't be Dark Magician. I mean, if I was able to just, like, get rid of both of them, that would have been great. Maybe I should have left Prisma in the graveyard? If I just thought that this would happen? Hopefully my math is wrong and I can just still do this. Twenty five hundred, so that's dead even. So I just need another elemental here on the graveyard, and I can defeat these dark magicians. Never mind, it decided to kamikaze. We're not going anywhere until this duel is over in my favor. We are going to end GX on this video, guys. We are going to do it. And I'm not editing any Lost Duels out. It's just not gonna happen. I don't really care for the attack buff on Card Trooper. I just want to draw a card. Good, I still get to do it anyway. I would give to discard a Necro Shade right now to get this out. <laughs> huh. Believe it or not, Elemental Hero Woodsman can beat a Mystical Elf. So I will.
Wait. Oh, that must mean to, like, activate this. Oh. You know what? Since that's not a mirror force... Or a magic cylinder... That gives a fair game to bring this out. And it's still my battle phase! How about them apples? That was actually useful! Come on, this is total BS if I win like this. Like, of all the garbage I go through, and the only way I'm going to win is if I use a woodsman to beat a mystical elf? Is this how it's going to go after all the long duels I had against this guy? Come on, give me a break. Even though I'm winning, to win like this? I admire your effort, but you still are going to lose. In fact, Dark Magic Curtain made it easier for you to lose. Because all I have to do is do 300 points of damage. I don't believe it. Well, at least they go to the graveyard. Alright, I gotta choose. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Maybe I should actually target a monster. Ah, I picked wrong. So Dark Magician is spared. It was the one in the middle. It lives to fight another day. Oh well. At least I still have a chance to win. There. Go away. Oh, we can special summon a monster. I'll do that. Why not? Boom, we did it. That was so anticlimactic, though. Thanks, Yugi. That was an awesome duel. I mean, four, five, six duels. But we kept going until I won. <laughs> you reminded me that no matter what happens in the future, there's one thing that I'll never forget. The joy of dueling. That was like a very lame ending. <laughs> All right, so now that I got GX done, we can move on to 5Ds next. But I probably will take a break from this series right now to focus on the others. And then after that little hiatus is up, we can start on 5Ds. So stay tuned for the next episode, whenever that will be. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.